Hey guys, so this must have been a pretty popular video because a lot of people mentioned me in this thing. So let's solve it. So first thing, this word square is telling us this thing's a square, so we're gonna put right angles. Since no side lengths are provided and all squares are similar and we're solving for an angle, it's fine for me just to make up a side length. So I'm just gonna go with 10. So let's look at this triangle inside here. I'm gonna call this vertex A and this side opposite of it, little a. This vertex B and this side, little b. And this vertex cap C and this side, little c. So now let's look at this triangle up here. This is a right triangle. So we can use Sokotoa. So I'm going to do sine of 80 degrees is equal to the opposite 10 over the hypotenuse A. And then if I take the sine of 80 degrees, I get approximately 0 0.9848078. And then I can multiply both sides by A and then divide by that decimal. And I get a value of A. It's approximately 10.15. Let's get rid of all this stuff and let's move down to this triangle. So since this is 80 and this is 90, this last angle has to be 10 degrees. And then we know this whole corner is 90 degrees. 10 plus 40 is 50, which leaves us 40 for this angle right here. And then this is another right triangle. So we have 50 for down here. So let's do sine again. We'll do sine of 50. It's equal to a ratio of the opposite 10 divided by the hypotenuse B. Sine of 50 is this decimal right here. Multiply both sides by B, divide by the decimal, and we get a value for B. It's approximately 13.05. Let's get rid of this stuff. And now we're going to use law of cosines. So the C we don't know, so I'm just going to put C squared. I'm going to change this to a squiggle mark because we're going to be doing some rounding. So A was this thing right here, so I'm going to put 10.2 squared. B was this right here, so I'm going to put 13.1 squared. And then we have a minus, and then 2, and then A once again was the 10.2 and B was this 13.1. And then we have cosine of C. Well, capital C is this angle 40 right here. And then 10.2 squared is approximately 103.1. This is approximately 170.4. And then we're going to subtract all this, which is 265.1. And cosine of 40 is approximately 0.766. So after we plug all this into a calculator, we get 70.4. Square root both sides and we get a value for C. It's approximately 8.39 and I will plug it in up here. So we're still not done yet. Now we have to use law of signs. We're only interested in the A's and the C's. So we're just going to bring those two down. Capital A is what we don't know. So I'm going to leave that alone. Lowercase a is the 10.15. The angle C is 40 degrees. And then the side length C is this 8.39. Sine of 40 degrees is approximately 0 0.64. And then this divided by this gives us this. Squish everything together, multiply both sides by 10.15. And we get sine of A is equal to approximately 0 0.77773. To solve for A, we're going to take sine inverse of both sides. The left-hand side is just going to become A. And on the right-hand side, we got 51.05 degrees. And the original question just called it question marks. So we'll call it that, put a box around it, and we're done. So that missing angle was approximately 51.05 degrees. How exciting.